Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, or Road to 56, as Ireland. So, the last episode, we just about got rid of this. Ooh, that's handy. Got through this, got some uh, escort efforts, which means destroyers and convoys are cheaper, and American ship production methods, which are extra output. One thing that the mod also adds is this um, ability to customize convoys. I've noticed in some of my games my close air support gets shot down a lot by Convoy um, Ward 5. I suspect deck guns. Yeah, I can't add them right now because... But, uh, but anyway, it's just something to bear in mind for later. But wait for the active zone room, please, and then start building stores. I never really go with these justification for wars. They're, the political power cost is not something I ready think about. The point forward second. Super silly because a lot of what we are going to do is stealing everything the, that the Germans haven't nailed down. And we'll go back and steal the nails as well. So, out of all of these, it's nice of that. I think this is probably the single most. A lot consistently go with. Now, there are a few extra things added. This was added by the mods, but I'm not going to go with this. I've usually gone with air crew surveys in the past because we're less likely to lose our planes in a stupid accident and it lowers the cost of our air dockings, though by 10% rather than 15% for the base game. However, I've late lately this has grown on me. I think they've increased the air experience game from 0.1 to 0.2. That is just a boring but practical thing. You can see we're basically gaining 0.5 a day. Like, why an exercise give us jack shush? Ah, uh, yes, I. I'm going to need another one. This gentleman means these will be a little bit quicker and more importantly, get an extra. I'm probably going to go for this slot next. Maybe so once the once I get the factories, I like it. Get the expanded apartment. The fact that it requires you to complete all of these, very nice logical touch. Basically, we just don't we just don't have enough people to have all of this stuff we expand. Another thing they've done is that the next version of this will only increase civilian intelligence by five percent, but it'll lower the risk of infiltrating civilian administrations by five. Well. Again, a lot of nice little touches in this mod. Recommend you check that. This 
There's bonuses that are wasting our probably for all these different teams here. Not sure if it cover two cruisers for submarines. Well, they're not too expensive to build. Just get this now and then upgrade them later. Well, there's probably a probably a mess of build for this, but I'm not gonna bother. One thing I've learned though is that Antier is not really much of too much of a difference. Don't really we're not really getting hit by them a lot. It's mainly this we want. So our historical destroyers. Old Eggs actually. Rampire is a bit is getting a bit so next bits are gonna go are gonna go into bumping up our conscription load. and then like I've said in a couple of episodes I'm gonna go with this or this total equality it just means we get way more long run than the factory output is certain Now we got rid of that trade war. Linguist. Or an infiltrator for the real sneaky. Start building up the network. Oh, they are going to start with the shenanigans. Small arms, support, basically medium machine guns, medium portraits. We're gonna need them this coastline. To increase their relationship with their relationship too much more. But a hunt sale. Basically, I'm just hoping for a buyer for all this stuff so we can put it into this. Well, what do you know? They obviously want trucks. Excuse me. Bye. More factories. More factories are good. Now, I could go with this now for more factories. This. To try and rush for reform the taxes because we need the extra political power gain. See, we it's taking a while for us to get anything that's from the IRA. Okay, we're gonna so yeah, as I as I said earlier, the upgrade the second upgrade to civilian department or army departments it decreases the risk of infiltrating that particular branch. And there's no reason not to do that, so I'm going to get it. I know it is eating into the building for this, but thankfully these, these buildings here don't cost too much. Still a mod to try and make, the, make these supply hubs cheaper, but I don't think it's work, working. I'm not sure why. Because this is ludicrously high. Fifteen close air support planes. This 
this is the design I'm going with now. It's not, it's not a very good one, but it's a good starting point. Especially once we get all these uh, anti-aircraft guns to try and help, help keep the skies clear. Safe cracker. Do I want to go armor person? Basically, this is just a this is another thing they've added. It's literally just a very boring but practical. Yes, we can get supplies from slightly further away. But for now, I am going to go with rail networks because. Usually what I do when I join the Allies is I try building up ports and railway networks to try and get supplies through. But depending on how this goes, usually I'll end up doing one around Rasa uh, Mutra. Correct any pronunciations, please. Mispronunciation. Or between Sfax and Tripoli, what's that full? Or even just from Ragoon here. It's not flashy. It's rough. Bible. Now, all of these... Suppressive Barrage only really works on the... Attacking Doctrine. Offensive tactic. That's what that's going to be for us. Spell organization. Extra speed. Too much because these are mostly going to be fighting within Ireland. Vision training time though. I might just go with this reserve officer's one for now. Historically, I've either gone with aggressive recon, which means extra. Intelligence from combat, extra experience gain provided by these support companies. But mobilization speed is going to be very helpful because it means we build up our army just that quick. This is something that mod adds. I'm not going to go with it because I'm not free. Really Burn home defense. I got something added. I think it would centralize control because it's just it's boring but practical. I know I say that a lot, but that's kind of how I play. Hey, we have our first ship. Surface flips. Says all my explosives. Exercise. And yes, this is saying I can upgrade them. I'm not gonna do that now because. Basically, I'm gonna wait until they're actually until they're all done, then upgrade. But it's quicker to refit than it's to build a complete fresh one. Yeah, that's a pause ads. I'm not sure if that's historically or probably look this stuff up.
after this, I'm going to go here to get the extra search slot because that's going to be worth more or immediately use than this. Then replace the monarch, get the infected disease wage, roll the church. Hindsight, I don't think that was a good idea. Small arms while I'm at it. Gun, stern gun. Let's forget to do it, just find a couple of. Dockyards for repairs. Yes, I'm in Egypt. There is a focus to try and get this signal company to get out of the way. Nothing I really need. Buying a single art, it's like you. So, what to this subject I should think only applies to carriers, but escort efficiency. to create the artillery because artillery is the king of battle so I've heard the reason why I'm rushing all these intelligence departments is once the war kicks off and I can get a war economy I'm going to be upgrading uh, expanding the departments entirely Music this if you want to look. I have the music down quite a bit so I can actually self think. Probably find it on YouTube.
gonna leave those for now. Basically, they don't have enough convoys for this. One thing that comes up a lot in this game is the Philippines repeat trying to buy convoys that never get delivered. It's kind of annoying. I wish I could just say no. Recently failed to deliver. Not selling to you. There's probably a way to do Screw over. back for you but I almost go this always go this path because the output is kind of what we need yeah, just to put them forward see how every industrial bound the Germans have that isn't nailed down and locked lock behind several doors of these um, stations because we're going to need them. Anti-submarine warfare. It's built so we can get some so quick. Call in. Stop exercise. Ah, uh, what is priced? About a month the uh, we're gonna keep off so long ago. This now, I've never seen the army leader cost change. I wasn't paying attention. That's stability. Gosh. Give us regular range. Some entrenchments. It's always worth having. Guard our repairs. What I'm going to do is. Yeah, this is going to be quick and it'll increase the fuel we get. I think I might have mentioned this in the last episode, but one thing the mod adds is that we can actually convert our older equipment to newer ones. I think it's a much, much smarter idea. Because it's quicker than building them from scratch. again probably should have just said no soft heart
by Panzer. It's good old reliable. Days, I can go uh, down this line here. First escort. Probably look up the Irish names for this, but. Gonna be helpful. Our convoy just a, that's a little get away. Two. Got the extra pussy, but I've got a way to go, so I'm surprised. And fashion. Go into some anti rays just to try and spread them beat side. Hard to get these. Base game, this is ideology is non aligned, but this time it's authoritarian. Apparently, absolute monarch isn't quite bad as fact. I don't know. Yep, that's expected. I'm not gonna go with this broad censorship. Yes. Save that for when we actually need them. The main reason I went went this way it with being a well, is in this sector focus tree is it's extra attack and defense for infantry. That's huge. Could have gone with it if I'd gone with Finley Gale, it would have just moved this deep up entirely. This way, this way, moves the deep up, changes it into an actual buff. It's always worth having. So what I'm going to do is emergency powers act, state guidance, ship, negotiate north distance. Then I'll probably go into these two to get the extra power stability. Then probably this. Hey, there might be a war on. Still a good investment. Yeah. It's tank rifles. Still a regular old support. Basically, tanks do not do well in mountains and they don't, don't do anywhere near as well in cities as. Just... 
think I'm gonna take a break there. Okay, I'll see you, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.